Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle with a center O oh, fully inscribed uh, in a triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, CD is uh, 7 units, whereas uh, this segment uh, EC is uh, 14. And now our task is uh, to find the area of this uh, green shaded region this area and this area combined please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the skill let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step i have a question is this a right uh, triangle let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram and here we can see this is our radius and this is our tangent line no wonder this angle is going to be 90 degrees and in our case uh, this uh, is uh, our radius whereas this is our tangent line so no wonder this angle uh, is going to be 90 degrees so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle ABC is indeed a right uh, triangle. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point of tangency E. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OE is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. So let me call this radius as uh, lowercase r. Likewise, uh, this uh, OD is the radius. Uh, so I'm going to call lowercase r as well and likewise this OB is the radius uh, as well. And now let's recall the circle theorem once again. The angle between the radius and the tangent will always be 90 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 90 degrees since this is our radius and this is our tangent line. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OEC whose uh, side lengths are uh, lowercase r. 14 and this uh, side length the longest leg uh, OC is going to be R plus 7 so I can write uh, R plus 7 so therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our longest leg the hypotenuse is uh, R plus 7 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we are going to write down r square plus 14 square equal to r plus 7 whole square. Let's go ahead and simplify. We can write this thing r square plus 196 equal to and now let's recall the famous uh, identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the right hand side. So therefore the right hand side could be written as uh, r square plus uh, 14r plus uh, 49. And now we can see this r square and this r square they cancel each other out. So therefore we can write uh, 196 uh, equal to 14 times uh, r plus uh, 49. Let's go ahead and subtract uh, 49 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our 14 uh, r turns out to be 147. And now let's divide both sides by 14. So therefore our radius uh, r turns out to be 21 divided by 2 if we reduce these uh, right hand side. So thus our radius uh, turns out to be 21 divided by 2 units. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, BC of this triangle is going to be R plus R plus 7 all these individual uh, lengths. So if we add them that is going to give us uh, 2R plus uh, 7. And now our r value is 21 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to substitute r value over here. So therefore this could be written as 2 times 21 divided by 2 plus 7. And here if we multiply them we're going to get 21 plus 7 means 28 units. So therefore this whole bc length turns out to be 28 
and now let's focus on this other side length uh, a b let me label uh, this side length uh, as uh, x uh, units and now let's recall the two tangent uh, theorem according to this theorem if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point uh, then they are uh, congruent as you can see in this given diagram so no wonder the segment o a is going to be equal to the segment uh, o b and here in our case uh, b and uh, e are our points of tangency so therefore according to this uh, given uh, theorem this uh, side length uh, a b is going to be equal to this side length uh, a e if this side length is x then this side length has got to be x uh, as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, a b c whose uh, side lengths are uh, 28 x and this side length uh, a c is going to be the sum of these two individual lengths uh, x uh, and 14 so therefore i can write uh, x uh, plus uh, 14 and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle uh, as well and here's our pythagorean theorem once again and in our case our longest uh, leg the hypotenuse uh, is x plus 14 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula so we are going to have uh, x uh, square plus uh, 28 uh, square equals to x uh, plus uh, 14 uh, whole uh, square let's go ahead and simplify this is going to give us uh, x square plus uh, 784 equal to and now let's recall once again the famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on the right hand side so therefore right hand side is going to become uh, x square plus uh, 28 uh, x uh, plus uh, 100 uh, and 96 and now we can see x square and x square they are gone so therefore we can write uh, 784 equals to 28 uh, times x uh, plus uh, 196 let's go ahead and subtract uh, 196 from both sides this is gone so therefore we got uh, 28 uh, times x uh, equals to 588 when we subtract uh, these two numbers and now we are going to divide both sides by 28 so therefore our x value turns out to be 21 uh, units so therefore our x value turns out to be 21 uh, units in other words uh, this side length uh, a b is uh, 21 units and now let's make an observation we can see our this uh, green region uh, area is going to be equal to the area of this big uh, right triangle uh, abc minus the area of this uh, semi circle so therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, abc and the area of this uh, semi circle uh, as well before we could uh, calculate the area of this uh, green uh, region and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, abc now and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case the base of this triangle is uh, 28 and the height uh, is uh, 21 so therefore the area of this triangle abc is going to be a half uh, times uh, base is uh, 28 uh, times height uh, is uh, 21 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 294 so therefore that area for this triangle abc turns out to be 294 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, semi circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square where r is the radius and since we are interested in the semi circle so the semi circle area is going to be pi r square divided by 2 and in our case uh, the radius r is uh, 21 divided by 2 so therefore the area of this uh, semi circle is going to be pi divided by 2 times uh, our radius r is uh, 21 divided by 2 whole uh, square 
and if we simplify everything uh, the right hand side is going to become uh, 441 uh, pi divided by 8 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, region our triangle uh, ABC area is 294 and the semicircle area is 441 pi divided by 8 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so we are going to write down 294 minus 441 pi divided by 8 so thus the green region area turns out to be 294 minus 441 pi divided by 8 square units and that is approximately equal to 120.82 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye